A group that rescues marine mammals who are unable to survive in the wild. Through interactive programming, Ocean Connections partners with the Milwaukee County Zoo to teach kids and adults about these animals, as well as ocean conservation, perfect for Earth Day today. Joining us now is Shelly Ballman. She is the president of Ocean Connections, and she's got Diego beside her, who is the Californian sea lion. Is he back there? Well, we're working yeah. on getting him up. Oh, you never know when you're working with animals who you're going to be joined by. So I oh, actually have a scooter. Is. No, this is a different animal. I have Scooter. There's Everybody wants morning breakfast time. And so whoever shows up, shows up. We tried Diego. Scooter said, my turn. I want in. So this is Scooter, and he's a Pacific Harbor Seal. He's about 23 years old. Wow. Oh. Isn't he gorgeous? How old do seals live? How old do they well, live? If he were out in the wild, he probably would only live until he was about 15. But because of the veterinary care and all the fish he can eat, and we take away all the challenges from life in the wild, we are actually seeing seals live into their 40s. Wow. It's, it's fantastic. Wow. That is phenomenal. Oh, you behind you. I, love, I know. <laughs> I love seeing them. That is so great. I want you to tell us more about Ocean Connections because I didn't even know you existed. Oh, well, you know what? I think that people didn't realize it because we partnered with the Milwaukee County Zoo for almost 30 years now. And when I say partner, I mean like we, we work with them on conservation programming and being able to provide, you know, educational programs, shows, camps for kids and adults at the zoo. But you're right. What most people don't realize is we are separate. So, you know, that's really apparent to us right now, you know, with COVID-19, because we're not funded by the zoo whatsoever. We are a separate entity and they love having us here. We love being here, but we do all of the rescue work and care for the marine mammals independently. See, I think that's something that most people never knew. I didn't know that, yeah. Shelley, until you and I chatted on the phone, is that there, you're basically, you're a nonprofit within the Milwaukee County Zoo. So all donations that you guys have to, to raise and conserve and take care of the animals come from private people. You're not publicly funded at all. So you, you need the zoo to be open. And right now you don't have that going on. You just, you, you just nailed it. That's exactly right. Um, normally people walk through our gates and our bleachers are full and we have fantastic programs. But right now, you know, while all of our funding has stopped, the care that goes on here, we have uh, 12 different marine mammals, many of which are rescued and unable to survive out in the wild. That is our responsibility and ensuring their care, their welfare, that continues to go on every day. So we are literally asking for community support. There is no doubt about it. Um, we're not the Milwaukee County Zoo. We are independent. It is so good to know. And I, I don't think anybody would have ever known that. Mm -mm. So I'm so glad you're explaining it. We are all also so hopeful about a beautiful summer. What you mentioned, your programs, what types of programs do you offer? Well, this year they're going to be a little different, perhaps, right? Because our goal is always the animals and it's educating the public. So we're waiting on some kind of restrictions from the governor, of course. But meanwhile, we've already opened up our summer camps for registration because they're smaller groups and we know that we can do that safely. So we have open summer camps. We've created some new summer camps and you can learn about that at our website at oceanconnections.org. We are developing um, family programs and we're concentrating on smaller segments so that people can come in and do conservation feeds and meet our animals very personally. And right now, I don't know what we're going to do for large crowds. We're going to wait and see. We have to do it safely for the guests and for us so that we can take care of the animals. It includes everyone. Hey, talk about these virtual field trips you're hosting, because right now, you know, people are going to say, well, I want to do something and I want to I will also want my kids to learn and they can't go to the zoo at this moment. But you're hosting these virtual field trips that are every Tuesday and Friday, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And we are looking to spread that information. So the bottom line is that we're all educators. We are dedicated to teaching. We have tried to provide something a means for kids to learn that is fun. And it supports the work that teachers and parents are having to do in a whole new environment. 
So we are doing virtual field trips every Tuesday and Friday, 11 a.m. We're doing them on Facebook Live. And so you have to go to Ocean Connections Facebook page, follow us, like us. At 11 o'clock on Tuesdays and Fridays, we're going to send you a little, hey, we're on air. And we're, you, we're following different STEAM curriculums. And so we're discussing adaptations and the environment. And what makes a marine mammal special? What's going on out in the wild today? Here's the great part. Not only are we doing the virtual field trips, which the kids and the parents, I think, just absolutely love. The feedback's been great. But we're also supplying supplementary educational material. So we're uploading both the field trip and the educational material onto a public Google Drive. And that Google Drive is uh, associated every time we do a Facebook Live. And then parents, you know what? If you're busy with your kids that day, you can go back and get it. Teachers are using it for their Google Classrooms. The goal is for it to be a resource. And that's one way that people can support you is just taking advantage of such a wonderful resource, the virtual field trips. What are yes. other ways that people can help you and what do you need most? Well, what we really need right now is funding. You know, we are a small business and of course we've put in for all of the small business emergency loans and grants, but uh, as probably a, almost everybody's figured out, that takes time. It takes a lot of time. And so you just kind of enter this waiting process. So what really, really would help is donations, community support. And people can donate to us on our website. If you visit us at oceanconnections.org, there is a donate button. You'll be surprised to know that feeding them alone, super expensive. It costs us about $100 a day to feed the animals and ensure their care. Uh, it's our commitment. So people can donate online. We've also made it easy just through Venmo, Ocean Connections at Venmo. <laughs> That's so cool to see him behind <laughs> I there. I'm fascinated to see what also. they eat. Well, I'll show you what they eat. Can I have some fish here, Em? Yeah, can you I do a little check, Shelly? We're here. out of time. Oh, gosh, I have another one. How about if you say hello, Diego? <laughs> <laughs> They're all over the place. All right. <laughs> Emmy, can you ask somebody to talk to me? Good. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Throw a little fish or do what? something. Uh, there, there's those two. Here's the fish. We have Capelin. We have herring. We are celebrating Earth Day the right way by celebrating these fantastic animals. And thank you so much for having us. Oh, such a oh, blast, Shelly. Thank you. You are one of so my favorite much. new people in Milwaukee. That was That's Diego. <laughs> what a wonderful way to start this show. Thank you so much for all that you're doing and happy Earth Day oh, to he's you. Oh, waving. Diego waves. <laughs> you can find he's out more waver. about Ocean Connections and virtual field trips on Facebook. They're live every Tuesday and Friday morning at 11. And the website is oceanconnections.org to donate. So cool. Oh, all right, still, I love that. I love that too. It was fantastic.